Today is a big day for me and I want to celebrate it with you. This channel started just a few months ago as a hobby. I wanted to make educational content that would motivate me to keep learning and working on my own games, but I never imagined that it would grow this fast. But there seems to be a need for this type of educational content, so I will continue making it with your support. So now I want to celebrate reaching 10,000 subscribers and the new year by giving away a free project that I've been working on. This project um, is a mini game that uh, contains a projectile system, AOE system, destructible objects, uh, player HUD, player abilities, um, difficulty and scoring and so much more. Um, so I hope you enjoy it and let me briefly show you what this looks like. This is the game arena. It consists of four stationary enemies that try to kill you, but you can't kill or damage them. Um, and this boxed area is the object spawner that will periodically spawn destructible objects for the player to destroy. The objective of this game is to destroy as many objects to get a high score before you die or before the number of objects in the level exceeds the maximum allowed. The player has two weapons, a sword and a rifle. The sword destroys the pillar objects in two swings and the rifle destroys the floating frames in two shots. The player also has a chargeable ability. You press Q to activate it that can throw the sword, destroying any pillar in its path. And it's recharged as the player destroys more objects. The player has to avoid getting hit by the enemy projectiles, uh, which have a HUD indicator that tells the player when a projectile is coming and where it's coming from. There's also a lightning strike AOE that spawns every few seconds that the player has to avoid as well. This is indicated by a decal on the floor. As the game progresses, the difficulty increases. There are three levels of difficulty which control how often the enemies shoot projectiles, how often the lightning strike spawns, and how often the destructible objects are spawned. All of these numbers can be adjusted in the My Game State class for more customizable difficulties. Now you can get this project on my Patreon uh, without being a member. I made it a free public post available to everyone, uh, but I would of course be very grateful if you support the channel and sign up for one of my paid uh, Patreon tiers. Uh, I will leave the link in the description. Um, and also you're free to use the assets of this project any way you want, uh, except the sword trail effects. Uh, these are paid assets, so you have to either purchase them uh, or not use them commercially. Uh, but I really hope that you find this useful and educational. Thank you again for all your support. Uh, I will continue to make Unreal Engine 5 tutorials on YouTube. So if this is something that you're interested in and you're not subscribed, then uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe to get notified when I uh, release new videos. Um, and also make sure to join the Discord server where we have a really nice community where we uh, help each other out, answer questions, share our games and share our knowledge. Um, all the links uh, for everything that I've mentioned in this video are down in the description. So I'll see you there and I'll see you in the next one.